Hi Libra, welcome to your Libra December 2020 tarot reading. Please bear in mind this reading won't resonate for all Libras out there. It is a general reading, but if you want to book a personal one with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Also bear in mind the energy I pick up on can be vice versa and interchangeable if we're talking about someone around you. If it does resonate Libra, please give this video a like and subscribe so I have more Libra energy to work with. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your moon and your rising sign. Okay, give me a second to ground. Okay, Libra, December 2020. Let's get a few shuffles. As always, Libra, we'll start with the Energy Oracle cards, then we'll clarify them further with the Tarot, then I'll pull you some Moonology advice, and we'll finish off with some Romance Angel cards, okay? One more shuffle. <clears throat> okay, Libra. December 2020, what is going on? Okay, nice. Bottom of the deck, we have attachment in reverse. We love to see it. Woo! Along with hostilities in reverse, we are letting go of something. Something that doesn't serve us. Something that brings drama. Love it. Okay, that's bottom of the deck. Let's see. <clears throat> Clear, concise messages, please, for Libra for December 2020. Let's go. Thank you. Wow, it's on the floor. <laughs> Bear with me. Where are you? Oh, okay, nice. All right. Okie dokie. What else for Libra? For December 2020, Libra. Thank you. Wow, they're jumping for you. This is going to be a powerful one. Okay, nice. One more, please, for Libra. One more for Leap oh, on the floor again. Leap, wow. Okay, okay. Libra, woo. The energy is a lot. Bear with me. Okay, we have two. Get it off the floor. Okay, interesting. Whew, let me ground myself for this one. Okay. We have action in reverse. We have the angel of strength upright. We have the heart chakra in reverse. And then we have strategy upright. And bottom of the deck, we have contract in reverse. So this is just energy oracle at this point. Okay, we'll get clearer with the tarot. But right off the bat, for some of you, something could be coming to an end. Could be anything at this point. All right. But it's like, there's nothing that you need to do. I think this came up in your November reading where it's like, there's nothing you can do for this person. I don't know if that was you guys. I think it was, right? Same energy. Again, there's nothing for you to do with regards to this, okay? You stay chilling. You stay strong. The angel of strength is with you, all right? You have the strength to get through whatever this is. We do have the heart chakra in reverse. And I, if this was your reading, guys, I do remember saying whatever this was, not to let it harden you, right? Like you stay your beautiful, compassionate, loving self. This is in reverse. So for some of you, whatever this is, might have some of you like closing off your heart a little bit. We don't want to do that. We want to stay strong, but it's not strong to the point where we close off our heart. We still want to remain open. We still want to come from a loving place, right? You can be strong and full of love at the same time, okay? And then we do have the strategy, so there's a plan here. It's upright. So it's like whatever plan you've come up with, good for you. It's the right thing to do. So this is very interesting. You can tell what kind of reading this is going to be. I'm going to jump straight into the tarot because we have a lot of clarifying to do here. Because, yeah, it's an interesting energy. So let me get a few shuffles for Libra. Libra, 
Libra, December 2020. One more shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> Libra. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands in reverse. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely this energy for some of you of like, again, redirecting your energy away from something to something else. And whatever it is that you've planned to do with your energy now, I feel like you're on the right track, okay? So take that how it resonates. If you've decided recently, do you know what? I'm going to stop putting my energy over here and I'm going to put it over here. Correct. Do so. Don't. There's no more action to take on this other thing whatever it is okay go after this whatever this is you've got a plan for but again don't neglect the heart space let's see that's just bottom of the deck energy let's get into it clear concise messages please for libra for december 2020 let's clarify this action in reverse please for libra what is this for libra Thank you. Mm, interesting. Yeah. All right. We have strength in reverse, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo, but that's interesting because this has come out in reverse and in the Oracle, it's upright. Same energy, right? So, clarifying the action in reverse. Again, Libra, if this is someone else, I'm sure it was you guys. In the other reading if this is someone who's been draining your energy right again there's no you have nothing left for this person it's like you, your energy reserves where this is concerned are done okay game over there's no more energy to give there's nothing you can do for this person or about this person or this situation it's done like yeah it's time to stop trying to give your energy to whatever that is that's done okay clear as day yes Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, all right? The person that we're talking about could be someone who's somewhat of a rebel, um, could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, it's time for you to step away and focus on you, right? Yeah, it could be dealing with someone who's manipulative or moody. Yeah, let's see. But there's nothing more to give to that situation, period. Let's clarify this Angel of Strength. Libra that's really interesting I just kind of like went that's weird I, my body kind of just went off balance for a second there is that what this is does this person throw you off balance let's see that was just really weird I felt let's clarify this angel of strength yeah and I'm sure your last reading the title was literally balancing out the scales or something interesting let's see what is this angel of strength for libra wow wow flew yeah wow give me a second because it flew <clears throat> yeah four of swords yeah it it's like whatever this was that was draining you libra now this month it's time for you to rest and recuperate, recover, regenerate, fill up your energy reserves again. Do you see the pattern here? We have action in reverse. Nothing more for you to do. Your your reserves for this are done. Yeah? Strength in reverse. It's drained you. It's it's too much now. Now it's time to turn the strength upright again by resting. Rest. Rest, 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 rest. Recuperate. Meditate a lot. Relax. Look after you. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Self-care. Self-care, taking care of your needs. Yeah, working on you. All right. Let's get into this heart chakra in reverse. Why is this in reverse for Libra? Let's clarify this heart chakra in reverse for Libra. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
we have the magician in reverse and we have the star upright so yeah libra this is a time for you to again renew yourself renew your energy heal 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 and i feel like where the healing needs to take place is in the heart space so if this person really hurt you or this situation whatever it is for you hurt you made you kind of close off or detach from your own heart space energy that's where we need to focus our healing so lots of meditation on the heart chakra will be really beneficial for you um with this magician in reverse i'm going to clarify that please let me clarify the magician in reverse for libra what is this magician in reverse for libra thank you mm. okay all right so i feel like whatever this was whatever it is that's got you here that's got your heart space a bit um blocked right that you're needing to recover from it could have been again someone who doesn't understand the art of give and take maybe this person was manipulative magician in, rever in reverse can be manipulation Maybe this person manipulated you into giving, 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 giving all the time and never receiving. And that's why this energy is here. That's why you're drained. That's why you're tired. That's why you need to rest. That's why there's nothing you can do for this person now. Because they're like, I'm hearing a lost cause. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. Yeah. Okay. So whatever this is, Libra, it's time to recover from that. Focus on you, focus on your healing, and most importantly, heal your heart space, all right? Let's get into the strategy for Libra. What is this? What is this plan for Libra, please? Clear, concise clarification for Libra for December 2020. What is the strategy, please? What is this? Thank you. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay we have the five of cups upright this is regret failure disappointment pessimism let me clarify further please for libra what is this five of cups about please clarify this five of cups for libra it's like some of you some of you may have a plan as to how to get yourself out of this energy of so for example if 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 some of you are feeling like a failure because you weren't able to help this person the way you wanted to there's a plan this is interesting to get you out of it yeah we have the queen of swords and then we have the three of swords in reverse yeah libra it's like this person or this situation that had you feeling like this, it's time to cut it out. Same energy as your general reading, I think, if it was you guys. Releasing pain. Releasing it. Maybe even forgiving, but with in combination with the Queen of Swords, I feel like this is releasing it by releasing this person or this situation, period. Um, yeah, because I feel like this, this situation, this person had you feeling like this look like he's damn near depressed low pessimistic no energy disappointed right so if some of you if you if you come up with a plan as to how to leave this person or this situation or this pain whatever it is behind i think you're on the right track whatever whatever your plan is it's right to, to do so it's right for others of you this could actually be like a higher plan like divine intervention there's a there's a there's a better plan for you which is why you have to cut this out because it only leaves you feeling like this it leaves you feeling like this you have to cut this off because there's a better plan for you we have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck a change of perspective letting go you with me let's get some clarification going on let me clarify this action and strength in reverse please for libra and then <clears throat> whoa thank you thank oh my god yeah look again with the balance balance 
Okay, this is a lot of clarification. We have the tower in reverse. <laughs> we have the four of wands in reverse. We have the emperor in reverse. <clears throat> we have justice in reverse. Here you are. And we have the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, wow. Wow. Libra. Yeah, this is done. Whatever this is, it's done. It's done, okay? Could have been dealing with an Aries. I feel like this person, they just brought conflict, maybe dishonesty. It, it's, it's unfair, period. It's unfair on you. Some of you have been indecisive or are still indecisive about whether to try again or walk away. I think the decision should be to walk away, Libra. Like I said, there's nothing left to do here. Yeah, some of you are scared of the change, understandably. Yeah, I could be dealing with someone who's very controlling, dominating, inflexible, not very disciplined. Like I said, a bit of a rebel. Or this could just be you wanting to control this situation, not wanting to let them go. Take it how it resonates, yeah. But um, honestly, Libra, I think... Pfft, Mm -mm. I don't like it. Like, no. You have to, you got to let this go. There's nothing for you to do. Yeah. We need balance again. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We need balance. Some of you, again, you're being incredibly patient with this person. Like the beautiful Libra you are. Patient, compassionate, right? But I think some of you, this month, you're going to be having um, a mental breakthrough about this. Okay, you're going to, it's, it's going to get really, really clear. You're going to get really clear in your mind that, yeah, you've over-invested in this. You've over-invested. It's time to get back to your self-worth. Period. All right. Let's clarify this um, Four of Swords and Angel of Strength, please, for Libra. Same energy as last month, pretty much. So I think some of you haven't released this person yet or this person still lingering around or the situation however it resonates for you but my love i think it's i think we need to be done we'll see when we pull the monology advice yeah four of swords uh, sorry six of swords in reverse four of swords six of swords some of you are definitely resisting mm. <laughs> some of you are definitely resisting this change really deeply contemplating whether or not again to carry on to keep trying or to let it go the same thing keeps coming out my loves yeah i think some of you are feeling like there's unfinished business here with this person or this situation yeah you're going through um a very powerful transition right now but know that know that you do have the strength libra that's why this is here this is always here as a reminder to you angel of strength you have the strength within to get through whatever this is, okay? Let me get another one on this Six of Swords, please, for Libra. Get one more on this. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> there you are again. Love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, yeah. Your intuition, Libra, is telling you something about this person or this situation, okay? And you're doubting it. It's strong. It's coming through to you, upright. But page of cups in reverse, you're doubting it. And then we have the three of wands. You want to progress, whether it's with this person or not. You do want to progress and expand, and, and you will. You will, but you've got to listen to your intuition, okay? Here you are at the bottom of the deck the empress okay this is you grounded surrounded by abundance very peaceful very calm you don't need toxicity around you next card is the lovers in reverse could be dealing with a gemini yeah it's time for self-love libra period it's time for self-love get out into nature ground your energy get around water you know all that good stuff yep same energy as always self-love 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 we've given enough to this personal situation now right we've given enough yeah all right let me clarify this a little further please this heart chakra in reverse energy for libra so we know we need to heal 
If this person is manipulative, that's what we're needing to heal from. They're all take, no give. It's time to redirect our energy towards ourselves. Yeah, and our own healing. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the confirmation. Yeah. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, King of Swords in reverse. Again, Libra, it's time to get back to you. Okay, your inner happiness, your emotional fulfillment, your satisfaction. If this is ending, of course, it may be painful, but it's 10. It's completion. It's done. It's done. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse, again, with the manipulation. This person could be very manipulative, which is why they drain you so much, which is why you're so, like, in two minds about whether to move on or not. Yeah. Yeah. Same energy, Libra. Heal, my love, heal. Release this person and heal. That's what I'm seeing so far. We'll see with the immunology advice. Let me just clarify this last section before we jump into immunology. Please clarify this energy here, the strategy energy for Libra. What is this? Clarify this five of cups, furthermore. <clears throat> what is this five of cups here for, for Libra? Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> They're on the floor. Bear with me. Okay. Yep. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel like this is the other person's energy. Like it's someone who's very. What, what? <laughs> someone used to call it scatterbrain. Like they're all talk, no action. Their, their energy is scattered. They do things hastily. And they disappoint you time and time again. Yeah, it's time to cut it out, Libra. Either we need to come up with a plan as to how we're going to cut this off. Or if you already have, well done. Go ahead with that plan. I don't know what the strategy to this is. I'm feeling more like it's like a higher plan for you. There's better for you than this. Yeah, because we then have judgment upright. This is a higher power, a higher calling, divine intervention. Yeah. The call is for you to focus on your self-love and self-care. Yeah. Definitely. All right, let's get you some immunology advice. Let's see what we can get for you. Let me get a few shuffles. for Libra one more okay what advice can we give to Libra for December 2020 regarding this spread please Libra What advice can we give to Libra? Clear, concise advice from Libra, please. Thank you. Okay, we have three. All right, we have a win-win outcome is forecast. Nice. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Nice. And we have prosperity lies ahead. Real nice. Okay. Let me read these meanings for you to get you the full clarity and advice. And then we'll pull you some romance angel cards. Okay. Uh, full moon in Libra. 80. A win-win outcome is forecast. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. 
There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. Let go of that which is falling away. And additional meanings are see the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself but avoid vanity or now is a great time for a makeover. Hmm. Uh, no matter when you pull this card, it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you. Balance is a very Libran energy and the full moon brings things to a peak. Dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the fore. Libra energy also brings love energy and negotiations are easier. All right. And let's get into a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Wow, this is powerful for you. These are both in your sign. Damn. Give and take, again, could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. And if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. In anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish, it won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. And additional meanings are feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way or pay some attention to your appearance but don't be all about appearances. Um, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring things back to equilibrium. Yes, do you remember I said at the beginning, my, bo my body like went off balance again. And I just noticed the picture, scales and, li and oh my God, here too, scales. There you go. I think that's what the strategy is, Libra. This is a higher plan to bring things into balance. Same as last month. All right, let's get into prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus. 44. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. Ah, there's the plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. And additional meanings are you will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself or start a standing order to a savings account no matter how small. It's the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember though that someone else is still wishing for what you already have interesting that this came out in line with the strategy so some of you need to make a financial strategy for yourself mm. so maybe for some of you it's a need to cut out like i said this toxic situation and work on your stuff work on your prosperity on your plan take that how it resonates let's pull you some romance angels <clears throat> Just get a few shuffles. Libra in love. One more shuffle. Okay. Libra in love. What romance advice do we have for them for December 2020, please? Libra. Thank you. Wow, we have our three. Perfect. Okay, we have express your love. 
go ahead and make the romantic gesture we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others nice yeah so Libra I'm feeling like for a lot of you like I said this situation over here is done 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 all right no more strength to give it oh sorry that was in reverse nothing left to give here a new romantic cycle begins and look at this beautiful romance energy express your love honeymoon and flirt yes Libra go for it my love go for it you deserve happiness you deserve some love it's not always you giving your love away to others you deserve it okay with this heart chakra in reverse and then express your love double message there okay some of you could be feeling love for someone or could be wanting to take action towards someone but like you're holding back because your heart chakra is blocked possibly because of this other person or this other situation so definitely release that stop giving your energy to that and put your energy into this beautiful new love, making a plan for yourself, for your future, for your finances. Yes, be all about you, honey. Be all about you. Love it. I hope this resonates and gives you clarity, Libra. If it does, please let me know in the comments. Give this video a like and subscribe so that I have more Libra and energy to work with. And until your next reading, I wish you a beautiful December ahead. Take care. Bye.